Hi, this is Stephen from Owner Disown, and uh, you may recall I reviewed the uh, Dell Inspiron 15 uh, 7000 Gaming GTX uh, 1050 Ti in it. I've been asked uh, whether it can play VR games, and uh, so I tested out uh, four or five games using the HTC Vive here. So uh, let's have a look to see how it performed. First up is Raw Data. It's a futuristic Terminator style robot shooting game, very intense and a lot of fun. It's actually 112 years old. I have a sort of tour down here in... Oh my god, I'm getting readouts all around you. What's your visual? So without the laptop overclocked, it plays it pretty well. Um, at uh, medium settings, it uh, defaults to show the uh, game playing on the laptop screen. So uh, that would uh, use a little bit more horsepower, um, but it still performed pretty well. You do get a little bit of lag with the hand motion, um, but that's the same if you reduce it down to uh, low settings too. So Raw Data is the most graphically intense VR game I know, so if it can play this, the rest should be easy. Next up is Serious Sam VR. A crazy game, multiple weapons and multiple enemies. Survival mode in this game is crazy. You've got uh, multiple enemies charging at you really fast. So it does help that the game is very smooth, plays really well in VR on the uh, GTX 1050 Ti here. third game is Hollow Point, a VR archery game. It's actually one of my favorite ones. Very fast, you need quick reactions. Uh, so let's see how we get on. This game plays perfectly. No stutters, no jitters. Very smooth and it's a most enjoyable game. You've got to be very fast. You've got to uh, shoot uh, various enemies, including these uh, various ninja type warriors, as well as exploding cubes. Love it. Fourth game is Onward, which is a multiplayer simulation military game. This game is also a good test on how well a system can perform in VR. So let's take a look. So here I'm just playing single player free roaming so we'll get an idea of how it performs. Uh, as I say, the laptop's not overclocked. Uh, I believe this is medium settings and it uh, is performing uh, very smoothly. No trouble at all. Finally is Storm VR. Now I actually reviewed this some uh, some months back when it was out in uh, beta. It is a great game. Uh, it's done some updates so it is actually a bit different to uh, when it first came out. It uh, basically throws you into a big white storm, snowstorm, and it's a puzzle game. You've got to try and uh, survive. Now, although this isn't a fast action pack game, there is a sense of urgency because you do get cold and uh, you die after a period of time. Um, it plays smoothly here. You can teleport around, look around, and there's no jitter at all. It works really well. So to conclude, I think it was very good. Only in raw data, there pops a slight uh, lag when you're moving your hand around, but the action was smooth, and uh, I did not overclock the, uh, the computer at all. This is at uh, stock clocks and uh, typically it ran most games at uh, default settings. Um, raw data ran at medium just fine. Um, switching to low didn't make any difference at all. Um, so thumbs up if you've got a 10, 8, 1050 Ti in your notebook. Don't worry about it. You can play these VR games. Thanks again.